All right, so if you've watched this channel, you know that I love the McRib. The only problem with the McRib is it goes on vacation for a while. Sometimes you don't have any access to McRibs for months. So today I'm gonna to show you how exactly how you can make your own McRib at home. What is up everybody? I'm Sean with Food Supremacy. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the McRib at home. I have to give a shout out to my buddy Seth. Uh, he, he, he's the one that put me onto this. I didn't use quite the same boneless rib patty. I think that's what they call that, that delicious mystery meat that goes on a McRib. But um, yeah, either way, I, I've made do. I went and got the banquet, boneless rib, McRib patty, some Italian buns from Aldi's, some pickles and onions. You know what goes on McRibs. Got all that together. And uh, here we are, we've got the homemade McRib. What can you say about the McRib that's not already been said? I mean, they're amazing. You know, a lot of people hate them, a lot of people, oh, I just don't think they're that good. I mean, McRib, it's good, you know? One time in your life, you'll find, you'll find out that I'm right. The McRib is amazing. But like I said, the problem is the McRib, it tends to disappear, which you know, is not the worst thing. Sometimes that, that is exclusivity kind of, that thing kind of makes you want it more, makes you like it more, makes you cherish it more when it's there. You know, McDonald's is the master of that with the shamrock shake and the uh, pumpkin pies during the holidays, you know, the holiday pie. McDonald's has a lot of things they do that with. And if we're talking about seasonal treats, you have to say pumpkin spice latte. November 1st, it's everything pumpkin. Starbucks, wherever you want to get your favorite pumpkin spice latte. All right, so this is my first time making one of these. Took a while. 52 minutes in the oven, because I had to do it the right way. I couldn't microwave it. You know, you don't cut any corners when you're making high quality cuisine, like the McRib. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into this thing. It's time. I put a double patty on there because I wasn't playing. I even have McDonald's napkins for this for this treat. So let's get a bite, see what this thing's about. Now listen, I'm gonna be honest. Is it a McRib? No, obviously not. McRibs are, you know, they're a very special treat. Not quite as good. All right, if you have a hankering for McRib, which I do right now, and it's it just went away, so we have months until, the, until they come back. This'll do, this is a good treat. So, you know, like I said, my buddy Seth put me onto this. I've been meaning to do it for a while. Why not today? First Friday, that's not in Lent. Might as well double down on the meat I'm eating. But uh, what's something that you're able to recreate at home? Is there, is there any sandwich? Do you make Big Macs at home? Do you do something else like that? I'd love to hear about it. Once again, I'm Sean with Food Supremacy, and thank you for checking out my video.